Greetings to all of my friends. It's great to be coming to you again today. I appreciate all of you that listen to me all around the world. I thank you for hearing from you, and I appreciate all of you and what you're doing in the work of the Lord. And this, this message today is about uh, Gideon and the book of Judges. And I want to give you a little bit of background about what's going on here. Israel had fallen into deep sin. They had worshipped Baal, and they had turned herself away from God. And because of that, their land was overtaken by the Midianites, and they were just in distress. They took over their crops and everything that they had, and they were, in, they were hiding even from the Midianites to try to do everything that they did. That's when we find the, the setting here in, in uh, chapter 6, verse 12. And the Lord said unto, uh, you know, Gideon, the, uh, the angel of the Lord came and said unto Gideon, Thou might a man of valor, the Lord is with thee. And he was out threshing wheat, hiding from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord says, I, I've got news for you today. You're a mighty man of valor. He was a good judge. He was the fifth judge of Israel. He was a very good man, and uh, it's for this reason I think that God chose him to give them great victory. And so the things that comes about here, you know, he fleeces God to see if it's really you, and if it's surely you cause these things to happen, and God did answer his prayers and everything. So we're getting ready now to where we see that uh, God's going to lead them. The first act of business that he did, Gideon did, is he tore down the, the Baal gods that was around the town there, and it made everyone in that town angry because he tore down Baals and all the things that symbolized Baal, and they even threatened his life and tried to destroy him. But now Gideon is getting ready to go against a great battle. He's got a great battle, and he reaches out and chose, he chooses 32,000 men, but but God told him, he said, that's too many. And he had to reduce, and eventually he ends up with 300 men to go against the mighty Midianites. And they attacked them and surrounded their, and surrounded their place where they were and uh, used the torches and the trumpets. And when they blew those trumpets and lit those torches, Midianites had thought they had been surrounded by a great army and with 300 men, God gave Gideon the victory over the Midianites that day. Though this lesson tells us that we need to depend upon God. It's not necessarily how many men he had, but it's because God wanted to let him know that it's him that's doing it, and it's not really them. We're, we're sometimes operate in ways like that. We try to do things on our own. And folks, I want to tell you, God will do great and mighty things of your life if you'll let him. Gideon was a mighty man of valor. He was willing to step out with God, and God used him in a mighty way. You know, there's people listening to me today that God wants to use you to do great and mighty things for God. He wants you to reach people. He don't want you to compromise. You know, like the Midianites surrounded Israel, we're being surrounded today in our world by a loosening of God's standard, and it seemed like we were falling into deep uh, depravity all across the world today. Folks, we need a revival in this world. We need Jesus as we ever need him before. And I want to tell you, we're surrounded. It seems like we're living in a day where we're really troubled, where things are going on, and it seems like we need a victory over the enemy. And, you know, if we submit ourselves to God and resist the devil, he will flee from us. And so I'll tell you what, we need to hold a standard up. And you know, when Israel fell into sin, you know, fell into deep sin, finally when their land was overtaken, they called upon the Lord. Friend, it's about time you and I call upon the Lord with all of our heart. If we seek the Lord with all of our heart, then we'll see mighty things begin to happen, and you'll see victories won, and people being saved, and people being healed, and people being delivered. Folks, I want to tell you, we're living in a day that we're living, I believe, in the last days. I believe we're ever close to that time where the Lord is getting ready to come. And I want to encourage you today to listen to God to listen to God and do what God tells you to do and obey God. Don't be afraid of what the enemy can do with you because greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. 
This is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you for listening to the broadcast today, and I look forward to talking to you again very soon.